What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael and welcome to Fudge Muppet. Today I'm excited to bring you a super high octane Fallout 4 video all about the top 5 playstyles in the game. If you've been watching Fudge Muppet for a while, you'd know there's all kinds of ways to play through Fallout 4 with your character build and in this video we're showing off 5 of the most fun but highly effective ways to do it. You can use these playstyles for your own builds or you can just use one of ours. The choice is up to you. You could just grab the same perks from our builds and throw it on yours for the same type of enjoyable experience, but with whatever role-playing and aesthetic you want to use. Also, do note that while this video does showcase five of the best playstyles in the game, we still had to leave a lot of sensational styles out, so we'll have an honorable mention section at the end. We're also not ordering the playstyles as it's too hard to say which one outranks another with 100% certainty. With that all said, let's teleport behind our enemies and slice off their heads with the first top playstyle on our list. Stealth Melee Blitz. This high agility playstyle is one of the most overpowered methods of tearing apart the commonwealth in the game. With high agility, you'll be using tons of VATS usage, which plays into one of the best perks in the game, Blitz. Blitz massively increases your melee range distance in VATS, and with the second rank, you'll do more damage the further away you are. This basically allows you to teleport straight behind your opponent from your stealth position, doing a massive slash that not only benefits from the normal sneak attack multiplier, but also is buffed up by the insane amount of damage Blitz adds in. Throw in the fact that you should get the other agility perks, such as all ranks of ninja, which makes your melee sneak attacks do 10 times as much normal damage, and you're almost unstoppable. The sneak mode Blitz attack from far away with the ninja rank 3 multiplier is stupidly strong. So strong, in fact, that some stealth melee Blitz builds don't even need high strength. Obviously, it really helps, but you can still one-shot enemies without it, and without luck. But again, luck would also increase damage even more. More. Also, if you are playing a strength build, the rooted perk is fantastic for this playstyle because this increases your damage when you're still planted firmly on the ground. With Blitz, you teleport straight to your enemies, but very conveniently you're planted at their feet, meaning you gain the rooted advantage on top of all the rest. Stealth melee Blitz builds on Fudge Muppet include the Assassin, the Stalker, the Disciple, and the Serial Killer. Interestingly, some stealth melee Blitz builds can actually become tankier if you feel like it. Opting to use stealth mode just some of the time. Take our tribal build for example, and on that note, feel free to use unarmed weapons instead of melee ones if you desire, but unless you've got a patch for it, they can actually count as ranged weapons with the ninja perk for some reason, only getting a 35 times multiplier instead of the huge 10 times one. Next up, we're pistol whipping our way through a bar of bandits with another one of the best playstyles possible in Fallout 4, the Gunslinger playstyle. This is a playstyle that we showcased in our Gunslinger build, and it revolves around a medium investment into perception and an extremely high amount of investment into the agility and luck stats. You use all the luck perks revolving around critical hits and the gun fu perk from agility to make you an absolute turret on the battlefield. So the setup basically works like this. With 10 agility you will have lots of action points and therefore lots of vats usage. By using a pistol which has a very low action point cost per shot, you are able to load up stupid amounts of shots into vats, with some pistols more than 10 shots. Having decent perception ensures we are accurate enough to land our shots, but even still, this build doesn't really need to be too far away, so you shouldn't really be missing. We also won't miss our critical hits because they always hit. So here's what you do to kill all 10 enemies in the room in one pistol banging sweep. So with 10 agility, we have Gun Fu. At rank 1, 25% more damage will be caused to your second target in VATS and beyond. With rank 2, 50% more damage will be caused to your third target and beyond. And with rank 3, you instantly do a critical hit against your fourth target and beyond. So as you can see, the more targets targets you hit, the stronger you become, and once you reach your fourth target, you'll do a critical hit to all of the rest, meaning 100% accuracy, 50% more damage to all of them from then on, and tons more damage on top of that because it's a critical hit, and will have the better criticals perk, which makes critical hits do 2.5 times as much extra damage. Then what we do to make sure we actually achieve this is we use the critical banker perk to store up a bunch of criticals. With all four ranks, we can store up to five critical hits, including the base one. So get Get these and unleash them upon the first three enemies, which will all die due to high critical damage. The Gunslinger perk for basic pistol damage and the Gun Fu perk. And then the fourth enemy and beyond will all fall like flies, also being shot down with super powered critical hits and 100% accuracy. What's even better is using the Four Leaf Clover perk, as with all four ranks, each hit you land in VATS, and we will be landing a lot, has an excellent chance of filling your critical meter, ensuring you're storing up critical hits all day long. We also have all three 
three ranks of Grim Reaper's Sprint, which makes any kill in Vats have a 35% chance to restore all action points and refill your critical meter. You can just see how the gunslinging playstyle is just so powerful and so damn cool. In position number three, we have a playstyle I call use a shit ton of chems, specifically jet and the hybrids of it. Use other chems if you want, but it's the jet based ones we're really in love with. If you're a fan of the Matrix, you will love this playstyle modifier. You see, this playstyle is added on top of other ones, but it's a big enough game changer to earn its own spot on this list. So what you do is enter combat and use a favorited chem. Your main choices should be psycho jet, buff jet, or just standard jet. What standard jet does is slow down time for 10 seconds. Buff Jet slows down time for 15 seconds and also increases strength and endurance by a huge 3 points. It increases your max HP by 65 and your max action points by 35 for 25 seconds. This is one hell of a chem and it's great for any melee based builds who want to get powered up while also taking things into slow motion. While time is slowed, you'll find that you still end up faster than your enemies. Builds like our Pyromaniac are perfect for this as she wields the Shish Kebab in addition to her Flamer and the Pyro works well too with his trusty sword. Psycho Jet, on the other hand, slows time for 15 seconds while upping your damage dealt by 25%, giving you plus 35 damage resistance and 40 more action points for 25 seconds. While Buff Jet is suited for melee builds, this works great for builds using guns as your damage is simply increased with all weapons. You'll be able to go around in slow motion firing off a machine gun at an enemy from all angles as they struggle to turn to face you. Our Chemist build uses Spray and Prey with the effects of Jet Active and our Shotgun Surgeon fires shotgun blasts in slow-mo while jetpacking through the air in power armor. It's truly an amazing feel and easily one of the most effective playstyle techniques in Fallout 4 too. The final thing that makes this so great is that you specifically include the chemist perk into the playstyle and the chem resistant perk as well if possible. Chem resistant stops you getting addicted, removing the negative side effects of abusing chems. Chemist on the other hand will increase the time your chems last by 200% with all four ranks. Enjoy your crazy but rewarding trip. Fourth on the list, we've got a playstyle that all of you slick salesman hucksters will absolutely love. This is the playstyle of pure and utter control. Controlling the resources of the wasteland, controlling the people, creatures and animals, and even controlling settlements via crafting. In fact, the right type of build could also craft and control robots. This is the high charisma, super persuasive, get rich quick crafting playstyle. The way it works is quite simple. You get the highest possible charisma, you increase it further with clothing if you want to, and you get almost all the charisma perks, except Lone Wanderer as you'll often use companions. You then use your charisma to make as much money as possible during transactions, use this money to gather supplies to build settlements, and use your perks to create the biggest, most badass empire in the commonwealth. Water purifiers, electricity, machine gun turrets, all sorts of farms, and even an arena once you've got all the necessities down pat. In combat, you'll also incite everything to attack for you as you're just that persuasive. You'll have Animal Friend, Wasteland Whisperer, and the intimidation perk to achieve this. Often we recommend just getting the first two ranks of each though because this way you can quickly incite your target to attack whereas the third rank slows things down because you have to pacify your target then select them to make them attack a selected enemy. It's much more efficient with two ranks although all three can be cool for the role playing. Obviously you'll have local leader to have supply lines between your settlement based empire and then you'll have things like cap collector to make more dosh, set up certain shops in your settlements and overall add bags upon bags bags of caps to your financial position. You can even get things like Black Widow and Lady Killer to make yourself do more damage to the opposite sex, but more importantly, be even better at persuading them in conversation. While you may be a bit of a business mastermind with this playstyle, you'll still be an absolute beast in conversation, being able to get your way however you want, being kind-hearted, charming, or straight up cold. So besides making caps, persuading everyone, inciting everything to fight for you, and building settlements, this playstyle can also allow you to build robots. It's completely optional, but a very very nice touch. You'll want crafting perks like Scrapper anyways, and you'll probably have Gunnut and Science for your settlements too. All you need to do is chuck in Robotics Expert and that Automatron DLC, and you can have a missile firing, gadling laser churning war machine at your side at all times. Charisma builds who use the majority of this fourth playstyle include our Diplomat build, the Slaver, the Minutemen General, and the Overseer. The Overseer will have robots, and the Slaver, as the name suggests, has a more sinister
master settlement building style. There's many role playing avenues to take with this playstyle, so choose wisely and very importantly, have fun. And finally, we arrive at a playstyle which was featured in our most popular Fallout 4 build of all time, the Sharpshooter. I am of course talking about the Stealthy Sniper playstyle, also featuring in our Hunter build and our Operator. The way this build works is quite simple. Find yourself a powerful sniper rifle or upgrade one yourself and use it to shoot people in the head from really far away, taking advantage of a variety of multipliers courtesy of the agility stat tree. It's often fun to just use the scope without that, but for the most part, this playstyle will be be using that, meaning we also have a big investment into perception. There's some beast perks in this stat line too that really make the playstyle something special. Luck becomes optional, but obviously we recommend it for devastating accuracy via critical hits and even higher damage. Better criticals, critical banker, you know, all the luck perks used in the gunslinger playstyle. Those are definitely great choices, plus bloody mess too. But let's go over the bread and butter with the agility perks and the perception ones and look at how that leads to one of the most fun and effective playstyles possible. So obviously you're going to want to have all ranks of the sneak perk so that you're super hard to detect and so you never accidentally trigger a mine or a trap or make too much noise. Distant enemies will also lose you while you're sneaking if you pick up that fifth rank and you will be distant from your enemies. You then need to get the ninja perk as well as the Mr. Sandman perk. With all three ranks of ninja, your sneak attacks with your sniper are going to do 3.5 times as much normal damage, which is a huge benefit. And with Mr. Sandman, you'll do 50% more sneak attack damage with silenced weapons. If you haven't figured it out as a stealth sniper, your sniper rifle will be silenced. Combine it together and you'll be getting a lot of instant kills. And imagine if you choose to use a critical hit too. This is all super cool and sounds a bit like a super long range and stealthier version of the gunslinger playstyle. But what does perception add? Well, besides more accuracy in that, there's the rifleman perk for your base damage, but most notably, sniper, penetrator, and concentrated fire. These three perks will make a stealth sniper so much more rewarding. With three ranks of sniper, you'll have improved control and can hold your breath longer when aiming with scopes, you'll have a 15% chance of knocking down your target with each hit, and you'll gain 25% more accuracy to headshot in VAT. It's important to note that this perk only works for non-automatic scoped rifles, which is what you'll be using with this playstyle anyway. We then have all two ranks of penetrator, allowing us to actually shoot an enemy in VAT who is hidden behind cover. Obviously, this only works for thinner pieces of cover, and you can't shoot someone through a 30-foot block of stone, but it's very useful nonetheless. So the tactic as explained with the agility perks can actually be used through a wall or a piece of cement just covering your enemy's head. And finally, we have concentrated fire. And with all ranks of this, every attack on the same body part gains 20% accuracy and does 20% more damage. This means that if you really want to take someone out, just chuck three shots onto their head in vats. And with all these perception perks, it's just so unlikely that you don't blow them to pieces. And the best part of all this precision and power, no one knows where you are. And now for some honorable mentions. I thought the playstyle of our thief build was really fun. Pickpocketing grenades into enemy inventories, chucking them at a group of raiders and shooting it in midair and headshotting people with the silenced deliverer pistol. There's also the Mad Max Road Warrior build which uses a hybrid playstyle of a sword off shotgun, a handmade rifle, a scoped revolver, the deliverer with the silencer removed and knives. He also has the Lone Wanderer perk and dog meat so it's just an awesome wasteland experience. Then there's just any playstyle involving power armor although there's heaps of separate playstyles you can use for a power armor build. There's classic melee playstyles like a drunk grognak, the barbarian build, and all the big guns, explosive characters like the Gunzerker, the Joker, and the Devastator. And that brings us to the end of the latest Fallout 4 video on Fudge Muppet. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. We really appreciate all your support, and it means the world to us that you enjoy these role-playing games as much as we do. Social media links are in the description, as is the link to our Twitch if you're interested in joining us there. We'd love to have you along. My name is Michael. This was the Top 5 Place styles in Fallout 4 and I look forward to nerding out with you again very soon.